What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. You guys, shout out to you who, you who go, you who go commented, um, commented on one of my older videos, but I thought it was a good one. I thought, I thought it was something I could share with you guys. I dropped a video. In fact, that video specifically goes over, um, you know, how I, how I request access, but I'll just show you again, you know, mid 2020, still doing the same thing, um, focused on one niche um, since 2016 helping them with their social media marketing, helping them with their Facebook advertising, one niche um, since day one. And so this video that I dropped, um, in fact, let's see if I can show you when this was made. This was made, um, let's just click on it. This was a video that I dropped. Um, back in YouTube ads back in 2019 so december 2019 not that not that long ago but i wanted to kind of just give you an update um on how i how i request access so shout out to shout out to you you who shout out to you who for commenting you guys any questions whatsoever social media marketing um building an agency you know affiliate marketing those are things that i focus on on this channel um helping people take their business online right helping them capture leads um, create landing pages, create sales funnels, create email automation, mainly, mainly for real estate agents. That's who I've been helping since 2016. But these same strategies apply for every small business owner. That's why I focus on kind of keeping it general here on my YouTube channel. So most businesses can, can, can benefit from the same, you know, value because I truly believe it's all the same. It's, it's paid traffic to a, to a landing page, to a lead capture page, giving out some type of free offer that free offer can be a seven day pass to a gym. It could be a seven day pass to your yoga studio. It could be 35% off your next burger when you come in with your family and redeem, redeem this coupon. It could be a free seller guide. If you're a real estate agent, a free buyer guide. You know, if you're a real estate agent, it could be a, it could be a free consultation. It, it could be so many things, man. Add to a landing page to offer that offer in order to capture that lead. That's what this is all about. And so, um, Again, I've been focused on one industry. It's all the same. Um, this is a question right here, a comment from, from you who go. Hi, David. I, I am already an admin of the page on Facebook. However, when I go to Facebook business, I do not see my page being reflected there. Um, added the page, but the message I got, let's see what it says. But the message I got was your request was access. Your request for access is pending. Yep, I know exactly what you're talking about. Okay, cool. So I'll help you with this, Yuhu. All right. Didn't get any request on page roles. How can I deal with this? Okay, perfect. So I'm gonna I'm gonna simply just walk you through. And again, that video was pretty much showing you how I do it, but I'm gonna do it again, give you an updated version of, of 2020, um, how I do it now. Um, so here's what I do. My whole initial pitch my whole initial um offer to 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 you know my my clients to to the business owners that i'm helping with their you know marketing with their digital marketing my whole first approach and first product is a lower ticket it's a lower ticket it's 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 designed to break the bread it's designed to build a relationship it's designed to build rapport. It's designed to get my foot in the door, right? It's offering a low ticket to, to, a, to, to a real estate agent, for example. Um, but again, the same you know, strategies apply for any business. Um, but I'll help them knock out a few optimizations on their social media platforms. I'll help them run a few basic, simple Facebook ads just to give it a facelift. And so in the very, very beginning, as I'm onboarding a client, all requests access to their business page. So rather than asking for passwords, because I don't want to do that, right? I don't want to ask them for their Facebook password or anything like that. What I do is I tell them, especially in the beginning, it's only in the beginning, when I'm, when I'm um, requesting access to their business account to run a couple ads, it's only in the beginning. Um, because what I do is I run those ads from my end. That's, that's what this is all about. So what I'm going to show you over here, Yuhu, um, let's go back to his question. Um, what I'm going to show you right here is how I request access. So again, the first few ads that I'm running for them, it's just to, it's just to get my foot in the door. It's just to give their pages a facelift. I'll run a like ad for them. I'll run maybe a Facebook video ad for them and, and get thousands of people in their local area to see it. Right. 
a handful of for, first basic ads, low ticket, um, that gets that client on board. And then, and then I have a value ladder, you know, from that point on, but, um, I'll show you right here how I do it without asking for passwords. And so this is what I do. I'll, I'll be on screen share first of all. So if you're not using this platform, which I just got done telling my son about it, um, he's a gamer, you know, shout out to Christian. He's building a YouTube channel. Um, gaming and, and and just crushing it right but i just got done telling them about this platform this is the platform i've been using since 2016 since 2016 actually since yeah yeah you, let's just call it 2016 since 2016 i've been i've been using this and and um rather than talking on the phone rather than trying to explain my marketing services to a prospect over the phone over the telephone right over the old school phone rather than doing that i've always used zoom i've literally closed hundreds of clients hundreds i've i've done business with hundreds of social media clients again all in the same niche since 2016 and 100 percent of them came from zoom so rather than on a phone call trying to verbally pitch what i'm offering i always use zoom so i can visually screen share and I can show them what I'm offering, right? That has been a game changer um, since day one. So as, I, as I'm online, as I'm on Zoom with them and kind of going over their Facebook page, going over, you know, what I can do and how I'm going to be able to help them and all this stuff, right? I'm doing it all through Zoom. I'm doing it all through, through screen, uh, screen share. And at the very end, when, I, when I'm getting ready to onboard that client, when I'm getting ready to process that credit card, right? I already onboarded them. Now it's game time. Um, now I'm about to just run a few, a few basic ads for them. Again, I'm doing it on my end um, from their page, but from my ad account. And so here's how you do it. You guys, you just go to, go to the client's business page, right? And I tell them to go to their page as well. And I always want to double click home right here, just so I can get the full, link i don't want all those characters at the end 972-129 right i don't want all those random characters i only want this url right here facebook.com forward slash taf group okay so that's what i'm looking for so i'm i'm, I'm on screen share i'm showing them this i'm also telling them to go ahead and hit escape because I need them to open up a, up, a, up a browser and go to their business page as well. So I'm walking them through this as I'm online with them. And all I do is I grab this URL and then I come back here and then I, I this is my ads manager. I click on the dots right here. I go to business settings. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on pages to the left. So right in your business settings, and this is one page you want to bookmark. What I would do is I would create a, a Facebook ads, which is my folder right here. I would create an, an, an ads manager folder. If I were you guys park it right here at the top book, you know, create an actual folder and then start bookmarking a bunch of different pages inside the ads manager. This is one page you definitely want to bookmark. This is your, your business settings. Okay. So in here you click on pages and all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the blue one, add. I'm going to request access to a page. I'm going to paste in that link and always make sure you see the drop down. Always make sure you see the drop down. Okay. You're going to click on that and then you're going to click, you're going to come down here to manage page. You want admin access. Okay. You don't want just create ads, just, you know, freaking um, editor or whatever, you know, you want everything. Just, just request everything. Manage page, admin access, get the full shebang. Okay. Now here's what's going to happen. Right when I click on request access, in fact, let me just do it for the heck of it. I don't know this person. Shout out to the TAF group, but um, I'm using yours as, a, as an example. And then I can always remove remove it real quick right, right away as well. Let me just show you guys for the example. So bam, right there, I just requested them. Now what I do is I tell them, and this is what, so this is what I'm thinking you're saying, uh, Yuhu. This is what I'm thinking you're saying, because over here in your question or in your comment, however, when I go to Facebook business, business man, Facebook business, I do not see my page being reflected there. Out of the page, but the message I got was your request for access is pending. So look, this is what I see right here. Your request for access is pending. So boom, that's what I'm going to see on my end, right? Now on their screen, I'm telling them, I'm saying, hey, okay, cool. Share screen if you want, and I'll walk you through this. 
So when they're looking at their page, in fact, let me go to my business page, because when you're looking at your own business page, you're looking at it from the editing, editing, you know, perspective, whereas right there, I, I didn't have access to the TAF group, right? So I, I don't see what I see now right here, which is business manager because I'm not an admin. But when you're looking at it from your page, from your, from your perspective, from your side, you're looking at your business page, this is what you see. You see everything here at the top, page, ad center, inbox. So this is what they're seeing, right? I'm telling them, I'm saying, hey, go to your business page and here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna click on settings right there in the top right, okay? You're gonna click on settings. And then what you're gonna do is over here on the left-hand side, you're going to click on page roles. And right here in the page roles, this is what I'm telling them. I'm saying click on page roles. And as you scroll down towards the middle of the page, you're going to see right here, respond to request. You're going to see inspired digital, which is me, right? You, and in your case, it might be your business page or it might be your name, but whatever it is, you tell them, you say, Hey man, you see my name right there. And, and you're at that point, it's not going to say remove yours is going to say respond to request. So this is all I'm telling them. I'm saying, okay, cool. Look at, look for my page right there under agencies. Look for my page. And all you're going to do is you're going to respond to request. They click on that. It takes them through um, a process where Facebook asks for their password. They enter their password on their end and they accept your request. And then here's what you have to do. This is what's super important. Then you have to refresh this page right here. Okay. Follow my lead. You have to refresh this page and then it will say access given or access granted. It will say that right here at the top. Now this one's gonna say, it's still gonna say pending because these people don't even know me, right? The TAF group. So they're not gonna request, they're not gonna accept me at all. I'm just doing this for the example. But you're gonna see right here, it won't say, once they do that on their end, right? Once they respond to requests, put in their password, and then you come over here and refresh the page, this right here, it will no longer say your request for access is pending. It will now say you now have uh, granted, you now, your access has now been granted, or it'll say something like that. You'll, you'll, you'll know it looks different than this right here, okay? And then what you have to do, which is mandatory, required, or you're not going to be able to, 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 to attach yourself. What you're going to do is you're going to scroll down and you're going to simply add, watch, let me, let me look at this client. So right here, I'm going to add people. That's what you're going to see. This is exactly what you're going to see right here. You're gonna see, you're gonna see owned by individual, and then you're gonna see permissions given. This is what it is. So you end up seeing this right here, and then you add people. You won't see your name right there just yet until you add people. You click on add people, you find your name over here to the left, you check that circle, and then you assign. That is it. Okay. That's how I do it. That's how I and, and the reason why I do it this way, again, is because I'm only running a handful of ads for them in the beginning, and I'm doing it from my ads manager, um, from their business page, which this allows me to, to do it from their page. Once I add people and add my name, and then I add people, then boom, there's my name right there. I have access to the page. I'm good. Now I can run it from my ads manager, but from their page okay and this is this is when i run a like ad this is how i run a like ad i'll take them from 300 likes to 3,000 likes i'll run like ads like this and then i'll run a handful of video ads for them just in the very beginning and then once i get them as a monthly retaining client then i'll teach them how to do it from their end okay um so that's how i do it there and then once you come over here to the ads manager once you add your name okay you have to add your actual name right there where it says add people once you do that, and then you come over here and run an actual ad, let's come back over here and let's just go through the setup. Just um, this is a brand new account. Let me just try this one. So as I go through the setup, hit the green button, create. Um, let's say we're going with, um, let's just say, let's, let's say engagement. Let's say we're doing a page like ad. Um, so there goes engagement. We'll scroll down. There goes page likes. We'll click the blue button. And then over here, it's going to ask us which page um, do you want to run it from? And then you're going to just simply hit the drop down. So right here it is. Um, okay, so let's get on this part. We'll hit next. And it's right here. So 
it's going to say Facebook page. And all I'm going to do is hit the drop down and I'm going to find that page. So all of my pages are right here. All of the pages that I manage are right here in my Inspire Digital. Now, again, you might have a business name right there. You might have your name right there. Just look for the multiple pages and you'll see it there. So I click right there and then I find that one page, TAF group or whatever, and then boom, I choose that and, now, and then I keep going. And then I run that ad. Again, a like ad, a video ad, I'll do it like this just to kind of get my foot, foot in the door, just to, just to start that, that business relationship and let these people know exactly how, how much value I can bring. And then again, if I end up taking them up my value ladder, that's when I'll get them as a monthly retaining client and teach them how to do all this from their end, okay? So hopefully that made sense. You guys, again, I'm dropping bombs like this every single day social media marketing, um, affiliate marketing, making money online, um, and, and just keep it as simple, whatever type of business you're building. If, if it comes down to, if, if you're looking, if, if you're building the type of business where it comes down to capturing leads because you have some type of offer, maybe you own a local yoga studio, maybe you, you own a local um, ice cream joint, maybe you own a local restaurant, maybe you own a local gym, maybe you're a local real estate agent and you sell houses, maybe you do solar, whatever it may be. You're in business to sell a product or a service. To do it online, we need basic tools, and that's what I'm dropping on this channel is, is what does it take? What type of web page do we need? What type of email automation do we need? What type of landing pages do we need? How do we run these basic Facebook ads that are going to drive traffic to our website so we can capture leads and make money? How do we do all that online? That's what I'm dropping on this channel, you guys. So if you haven't, subscribe hit the bell for notifications, drop me a comment below. Shout out to you who thank you for, for, for commenting. Thank you for asking this question. And I hope right there that made a lot of sense. But if you're into anything online, you guys drop me a comment below. Let me know what type of business you got going on um, online and um, let me know how I can bring value to what you got going on. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video over and out.